a new beetle is due to be released this summer to control the weed Japanese honeysuckle. The weed poses a problem because it smothers our native plants. Landcare researchers, weed biocontrol expert Hugh Gawley, recently returned from Japan with around 100 of the Oberia shirahatai adults and eggs to bolster numbers and the genetic diversity of the beetles to be released. As part of any biocontrol program is that we do surveys in the native range of the plant to look for what insects are attacking, insects and diseases are attacking the plant and then from that kind of list of insects and diseases we then select what appears to be the most um, likely to have the greatest impact on the plant. And this particular beetle, um, it's a very colourful thing which is kind of really nice, um, always nice for a change to have something colourful that we're releasing, but the um, larval stages or uh, of this beetle uh, feed inside the stems of the plant and uh, kill the stems and eventually seems to kill the entire plant. Luckily enough the beetles aren't particularly difficult to find. There's one particular site where there are just lots and lots of beetles that sit on the plants at this site and they fly around, they're really ungainly flyers, they fly quite unusually looking things and um, they're quite easy to catch when they fly around and they do sit on the underside of leaves and they're quite easy to catch from those. They, if you touch the leaf they just fall off into your container. First one of the day. So I spent seven hours out yesterday and caught one beetle. And I've been out here about an hour today. And that's my first beetle. So, this is a really good sight, this one. One of the things that we've, I've seen in Japan is uh, infestations of Japanese honeysuckle eventually disappear. So that suggests that the insects that we're looking at and this longhorn beetle are having a real impact on the plant in its native range. So the chances of that beetle having a really big impact on the plant in New Zealand without any of its natural predators and diseases and other things is really good. The introduction of the beetles has been approved by the Environmental Protection Authority. The longhorn beetles will assist another biocontrol agent, the Honshu White Admiral Butterfly, which was released in the Waikato in 2014. In any biocontrol program we always try and actually have more than one agent that's an insect or disease that's attacking the plant. Multiples of um, insects and diseases have a greater impact on the plant in, in the longer term. The White Admiral Butterfly is now well established at the site we've released it in, in the North Island, and appears to be spreading out of there as well. So that's a really good success um, that we've had in terms of establishing that. The caterpillar stages of that butterfly eat a lot of the foliage um, material, so that looks like it's got a really good potential to have an impact on the amount of foliage that the plants produce. This beetle will help that by then killing off the main stems and the shoots of the plant as well and dropping those back. We're also looking at another, um, at least one other agent which is a moth that feeds in the new shoot tips so we're looking at that one as well. We've done some work on that, just about to finish that and we'll look to bring that in in a few years time as well probably. So it'll give us three main agents that we're looking at to have, um, to attack three different parts of the plant plant and, and improve the chances of having a real impact on reducing the presence of the plant in our environment.